Step 3. The remaining cards. Hard knocks and silver spoons. There are four hard knocks which you play on an opponent's life goal grid to slow them down. The hard knocks are played onto an opponent's grid. These stop grid development. Your opponent can no longer build in that suit. That is, in this case, the player can no longer play any experience cards or do any development of the experience suit. They need to play the silver spoon of the appropriate suit to get out of that dilemma. If they don't have a silver spoon when it's their turn, instead of picking up from the deck, they can rummage through the trash pile and pick up a silver spoon that way, if one's been discarded. If they do this, they can be told to get, get alive by their opponents. Introducing Legend. If you manage to play all four blue cards representing all the suits of life, you're a bit of a legend, really. If you've done this, you can play a legend card onto your own grid and score 20,000 points and upwards, depending on the layer you're putting the legend on. This player has four orange cards. They can play the legend card, which is worth 30,000 points. If the player has a hard knock on his grid, he cannot play the legend. He must get rid of the hard knock first by playing a silver spoon. Introducing Knighthood. If you manage to build your grid all the way to the top, you've achieved excellence in your suit and deserve to be knighted. Now you can't knight yourself. Someone else must knight you. They may do this if they have a knighthood card. And they will because they get points as well. They receive a knighthood ninja card worth 25,000 points, so there is an incentive to knight someone. Remember, you cannot play a knighthood card if there is a hard knock card on the suit you want to knight. This player has built to the top of his grid. Your opponents can now knight him. Remember, he can't knight himself. The player receives 20,000 points for the knighthood. The giver of the knighthood receives a knighthood ninja worth 25,000 points to be held near his grid until the end of the game. The last card in the first deck is the damage card. The damage card is a card that is played onto your opponent's grid on the silver level. This is specific to a suit, that is, wealth or knowledge. It doesn't take away the card, but it does devalue it. The silver row is worth 15,000 points. If you play a damage card on someone, its value is reduced to nothing, but it's still part of the grid. They can still build to gold with the card. It's just as that card is not worth anything. You now have all the rules to play with the first deck. You're now ready to play the first round, so have a go. If you get confused, replay that section of the DVD or have a look in the rules.